Hey guys, welcome back. So it is officially November 1st, meaning it is time for my October wrap up and we are going to analyze over my Halloween bingo card to see how much I completed out of the 24 challenges. Um, I did not get a blackout on the bingo card. However, I still feel like it was a success because it kept me on track and that was the main goal of this entire thing. Uh, so I did complete 13 out of 24 of the bingo challenges. And honestly, that's a lot more than I expected I was going to do. So we're going to go down the list of the bingo card first to see what all I read. And then anything that I read outside of that, I will list at the end. So first off, for a book about vampires, we have Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. Then we have a book with a murder concept, which we have The Dead List by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Uh, a romance novel finally finished Twisted Hate, if you've read my, if you watch my reading vlogs. Uh, that took several more weeks than I desired. Um, and then we have the first book in a series, to which we have A Dance of Silver and Shadow, which is uh, the 13 Dancing Princesses retelling. Um, then we have an audiobook by an author I've never read before, so we read We Own Tonight by Corinne Michaels. Um, a book with a stalking aspect, we read Haunting Adeline, and then a retelling, I listened to A Tale of Beauty and Beast, which I think you can figure out what retelling that is, um, a book with a crows or ravens on the cover, I listened to A Fall of, Ra of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer L. Armentrout, I keep wanting to mix up that title to say a... Fall of Wrath and Ruin. Too many titles like that that my brain gets confused. Um, a book with the witch in the title. We read The Bone Witch. A book with a skull on the cover. We read The Bone House. And then my birthday free spot. I put The Steel Prince by V.E. Schwab, which is a graphic novel comprised of four different... Um, comics that are related to one of her series. Um, and then a book with pumpkin in the title. We read Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. Also fitting since it was Nightmare Before Christmas's 30th anniversary this year. And then finally for a, a book with a cover of black and red, uh, we read The King of Battle and Blood by Scarlet St. Clair. So there's only, I think, three books outside of this that I read this month um and that is the rest of the series that goes along with We Own Tonight by Kurt Michaels so that is one last try not until you and if only I knew uh yeah I honestly feel like this is a success so I feel like I'm gonna do this again for the holiday season but instead I'm going to create one bingo card for the entire holiday season if I read through that, we might reevaluate that at that time, depending on how quickly I read through it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.